Richardson, and we're and we're here today talking to the owner, Miss Miller. Hello, Miss Miller. Hello, Amanda. Um, Miss Miller, how long have you owned the Sunshine Preschool? I've been in business now for 18 years, since 1977. How many children come to the school each day? About 95. What are the, the ages of the children? We take babies as young as three weeks, and as children are up to 10 years of age. What's a typical day like here at the Sunshine Preschool? Well, during the summertime, we run a structured program with arts and crafts. We do some reading, and we go swimming every day. Okay. How much longer do you plan on teaching here? I plan to retire in two years. Would it be possible to take a tour of your school and maybe talk to some of the children? Sure. Where would you like to start?
Daniel Whaley, and I live in Angel's Camp. Um, what's your name and where do you live? My name is Amanda Richardson, and I live in Angel's Camp, Austin. Um, you brought a donkey today. Can you explain it? Well, my donkey's name is Eeyore. He's got, he's got, okay, he's got a right, right eye and a left eye, a right eyebrow and a left eyebrow. He has a nose, a mouth, and he has four legs. He has two ears, the peach under and gray on top. He has black hair. He has a removable tail. His tail is peach, gray, and black. He has a peach belly and four legs. He's gray all over. Hi, my name is Taylor Arola. Um, can you tell me your name and your name? I'm Daniel Bailey. What is your name? And I'm Amanda Richardson. And he plays the game. You move the dinosaur around, Dad. You use this little doohickey here to open and close your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you you pick up bones and you put them in the cave, and the one that gets the most bones wins. And do you have a name for this game? Colossal Fossil Fight. Okay. And do you have a name for your dinosaur? Dino. <laughs> do you have? <laughs> Hello, my name is Daniel Whaley, and what is your name? Amanda Richardson. What is this game you have here? Mm. Colossal Fossil Fight. Fossil Fight. <laughs> How does it work? Well, let me show you. First, you take your dinosaur and you push forward like this. And then, if you want to pick up a bone, you push, you, you use this thing. And you just do this. And then you. Turn your dinosaur like this, pick up a bone, and put it back, back up, and let go, and then put it in your cave. And then the people, like, the person with the most bones in their cave, win the game. Sounds interesting. Um, See, you brought a donkey today. Can you explain to us happily? <laughs> yes, the donkey has two eyes, a nose, a mouth, eyebrows, black hair, it's gray, it has ears, it can fly. <laughs> it has a removable tail. <laughs> it has a removable tail. And you can take it off and put it back on. <laughs> And if you flip it over, it has four legs and a peach stomach. And it gets the fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amanda Richardson, and we're here interviewing Miss Miller at Sunshine Preschool. Um, how many children do you have here? Uh, on an average day, about 35. How old are the children? Well, they range in age from two to five. How long do you have the children for? Some of them are here with us all day if, they, if their mothers and fathers are working, and others come just in the morning or just in the afternoons. Please tell us what, what you do on a typical day. Well, on a typical day, if the weather is nice, the children spend a good deal of time out of doors. We always have a break in...
Johnson, and we're and we're here today talking to the owner, Miss Miller. Hello, Miss Miller. Hello, Amanda. Um, Miss Miller, how long have you owned the Sunshine Preschool? I've been in business now for 18 years, since 1977. How many children come to the school each day? About 95. What are the, the ages of the children? We take babies as young as three weeks, and as children are up to 10 years of age. What's a typical, what is a typical, typical day like here at the Sunshine Preschool? Well, during the summertime, we run a structured program with arts and crafts. We do some reading, and we go swimming every day. Okay. How much longer do you plan on teaching here? I plan to retire in two years. Would it be possible to take a tour of your school and maybe talk to some of the children? Sure. Where would you like to start? It's getting a Where's the TV? Oh. Amanda, Amanda Richardson. Amanda, what do you feel about this program? Um, very interested and it's very fun. It's the next person with us is Daniel Whaley, and Daniel Whaley likes to work with the camera a lot. And could you tell us a little bit about what you learned about the camera? Well, I learned how to use it and how not to use it. And I like this, I like this program, and it's really fun. And last but not least, we have with us Taylor Ola. Um, Taylor is the youngest one of the bunch, and what do you feel about the Summer Enrichment Video Workshop? Well, uh, it's fun, and... Uh, I like doing it, and I'm gonna like teach people how to do it. I Hi, my name is Taylor Arola, and I will be interviewing Amanda Richardson. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Taylor. Uh, how did you like it on your f first day of coming here? Very well. And what did you do on your second day? We went to Miss Miller's, I mean, we went to Sunshine Preschool and we interviewed Miss Miller and we taped some of the children outside and inside um, playing and painting and and we came back and we edited it and it's all done and we're ready to put on TV tomorrow. And what did you do on your third day? We. Okay, we looked at the tape to be sure that it was good enough to put on TV, just in case it didn't need any more editing. And, and, let's see, 
and now we're interviewing each other. And that's right. Interview. interviewing Dan. Dan, what kind of pets do you have? I have a cat and a bird. Do you feed them? Yes, I feed the cat cat food and the bird bird food. What do you feed your dog? I don't have a dog. It died. Do you ever go swimming? We have a little pool in the backyard, but it got full of dirt and bad stuff. Did what did you do for in for? Hi, I'm Daniel, and this is Randall, and we're playing Colossal Fossil Fight. It's a game with dinosaurs, and you've got a little switch that opens their mouth, and you have to try to get the bones and put them in your cave, and the person with the most bones in their caves, after all the bones are gone, wins. Thomas and this is Steven and we're going to be showing you how to play Colossal Fossil Bite. Um, these are the bones that go inside the game and you have the option of the game is to get the bones in the cave. The person with the most bones is the winner and the other person's the loser. Amanda. Where do you live? Angels Camp. What are your favorite subjects? Football, basketball, and baseball. What grade are you in? I'm sixth grade. Do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I have a cat, a dog, and two goldfish. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have two brothers. What did you do over your trip? I played outside. 
I went swimming and that's about it. This is Daniel and Amanda signing off for Channel 4. And here, when we're here with Gail Nordby and Liz Caster, can can you tell us about the new library? Uh, yes, we've been open for about one year. We opened in June of '95, and um, we now have 15,000 square feet and a fully automated uh, card catalog system. We also do checkout uh, fully automated, which means all our patrons are in the computer. Um, it's a really nice system, and it's working very well so far. We're not completely finished, but um, it won't be too long. Would you give us a tour of your library? Yes, we will. We have several different sections in the library. We have the children's section, which uh, soon will have your own computers uh, set up there. We also have a genealogy session, a section where uh, people can study their uh, heredity. We have uh, nonfiction. We have young adult. Uh, we have uh, 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 the children's section, and uh, we'll be glad to show you everything. Okay. We're here in the children's area. What kind of program? What kind of children's programs do you have? Well, right now we have uh, the summer reading program, which uh, the kids read the books and they get their name on the board. They get prizes, and then after that, on August third, uh, Utica Park, we're going to have a party, and it's going to be a circus theme. We've got uh, all kinds of craft tables and a magician and jugglers, and it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be free food and it's going to be for three hours and it's completely free to all the children. We also have on Tuesdays and Thursdays we have a story hour right here in this area and anyone who's interested can call the library for times. Uh, anyone who's interested in volunteering uh, to help with the summer reading program or the children's reading hour uh, can also call and talk to me and I'd be glad to get some, give them some information. Um, we're going to have some new kids' computers over there in the children's area, and um, maybe we'll go over there now and take a look. Okay. Here we are at the card catalog. What kind of question? Yes, this works very, very well. It, um, it's uh, real easy to use. You come up and you want to find a particular author, and uh, you look right here, and number six is author, so you push that and it brings up a line here and so right here you can type in the author's name and that will bring the book up and then you choose it and you uh, push the letter C and that will tell you where it's at in the library or if it's at another library within our system. It works very well and people like it. They're not a bit of afraid of it so you shouldn't be either. Um, I could tell you that uh, we have uh, our genealogy books are right over in that area. We have uh, videos that you can check out. They go out three per family. We have uh, books, of course, uh, which uh, you can check out 15 per patron. And we have audio cassettes. So there's lots of things that you can find at the library. Thank you. How many books do you have? Well, we have 60,000 books, but that includes videos and audio cassette tapes also, but 60,000. How many people come into the library in one week? Well, we believe about 500 people use the library a week. That includes, of course, the phone calls we get from uh, people, from our patrons in the county, and uh, at least 500 a week. Do you have rooms for meetings? 
Yes, we do. We have two rooms. One is our, we call our community room, and uh, the capacity is, oh, about 100 people can have meetings in there. And our other room is the conference room, which is smaller, but it will accommodate up to 14 people. And in our community room, we have uh, many things that people can use for their meetings, such as uh, the television and video, and a screen that comes down from the ceiling, and uh, uh, quite a few different things people can use. Does it cost any money to use the library? It doesn't cost anything. It's completely free. The only thing that people get charged for is when their books are late. And that's 20 cents a day. <laughs> Thank you, Gail and Liz. Thank you very much. Um, I hope you have liked this little tour of Calaveras. Calvers County Library and I hope that you will use this library as much as possible and you I'm sure you'll have fun and this is Amanda signing off for Calvers Community Television. Hi I'm Thomas Salva and I'm gonna hopefully come back next year onto the TV state onto the TV network and I liked um, working with Paul and the other helpers, and I really enjoyed it this year. Thank you, Paul. It was very fun with Paul and his helpers learning about video work. So hopefully I can come again next year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Amanda Richardson, and what I liked about the video workshop was that I I um, worked on my bravery on um, interviewing people in front of a camera and I learned a little bit more about a camera and I had a lot of fun. Thank you. Oh gosh, what's this? I don't know, it looks like a dead person. No, it's not. He's not dead. He can't be dead. <laughs> Well, he looks dead. Wake up, person! Oh, <laughs> Wake up! It's terrible! You killed him! No, I didn't! Yes, you did! I, <laughs> I did not kill him! I was the, gonna kill him all the time! The bring up the barium! Okay! <laughs> okay! The grave's over here! <laughs> the grave's over here! <laughs> I feel good now. Me too. Me too. Um, what's your name? Y Hugo. Hugo. Oh. <laughs> Man, you are so dead. Are you okay? Yeah. Don't kick me. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you. You pass your punching. Why you little oh, you, you are Ah Ooh. Turf fighting. <laughs> Ooh mom. Maybe the ghost is gonna, is gonna... Oh, God! Ah! <laughs> I'm not dead! I'm terrified! <laughs> I'm... Now you Artwork was done by Randall Hagman and Stephen Blanc. Oh, I'm Matthew Hagman, and I was the camera guy for Puppet Theater. Hi, I'm Thomas, and I was playing Quasimodo. I hope you enjoyed our show. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Amanda, and I was on microphone, and thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Daniel, and I was Buzz Lightyear, and I hope you had a good time. Hi, I'm David, and I was playing Hugo, and I'm going to fly to Mars.